about the Carter Five? Bro, it's straight fire, bro. What you mean? The whole album is straight fire? Yes, it's straight fire. What songs do you like? Give me a punchline or a bar off for Carter Five since it's straight fire. Um, hold on. Nah, nah, so I no, hold on. One. It just came out. Cookie. Hey, what's good y'all? This is your boy Dream Big back at it again with another video for you guys. Let's get it! Yo, I already know I had to take some time and watch this little and listen. I had to take some time listen to this Carter 5 since we've been waiting for it for like forever. So I'm like how every track made me feel, what I thought about the production, and um, I must say up front. You know, Wheezy, Wheezy got it, man. He got it. You know, I was doubting him a little bit, but um, we gonna we gonna jump into it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the tracks I liked, like as soon as I heard it, and um, some of the tracks that I wasn't really feeling. So let's get it. I think it's dope though that um, Birdman did say earlier this year that we would be getting the Carter Five, and you know, long and behold, we actually did get it. Um, so it's kind of cool. That that's kind of cool. But uh, with the first track, uh, I love Dwayne uh, with um, Tunchi's mom. It was it was cool. Uh, I think that was a cool album cut. You know that he had his mom and stuff on there. And she's a she's on a couple of different tracks on the album. So uh, I think it's cool. I think you know with all he's been to these last like six seven years, um, he's been through a lot, especially with these money issues and not being able to put out the Carter Five and um, going back and forth for Birdman and cash money for legal issues. I think that was needed. Um, you know, I seen memes online. As soon as she come on, you kind of like skip. As soon as she start crying, you skip. But I mean, I felt that, you know, I felt the pain you know, of my mom, my mom and grandparents would um, want me to be happy to the fullest. and want everybody, to, if I was an entertainer, they would want um, everybody to hear my music. So um, I felt that track right here. Now track two. Now track two with XX Extension, R.I.P. X, man, um, died in a tra tragic robbery. Um, bunch of kids in Florida, South Florida shot this man. Um, it, I will say it's nice. Um, I like the fact that Lil Wayne, you know, paid homage and kind of put him on the track, um, put him on his Carter Five, um, even though he passed away. Um, but I will say, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. Y'all could tell me in the comments how y'all felt, um, but I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Like, I felt like this was like a generic X, I'm, and I'll, I'll throw this out here to keep it all, all the way 100. I am not really an XX Distancion fan like that. I do like some of his songs, but I, I wouldn't say I'm not really a fan of all his music. Um, I will say this track seemed like it, it, it was a little unfinished, like maybe it wasn't mixed properly, like to my liking, or, you know, I felt like he, I feel like I wish he added more spice to it instead of like, don't like the cry, like dragging out the words so much. I, I didn't, I wasn't really feeling that. I think they could have did, I think either him, uh, X or Lil Wayne could have did better a job with the hook. Other than that, you know, I enjoyed Wayne's verse, but you know, the hook from X, I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling. Y'all could let me know. Maybe I'm bugging, but um, I kind of felt in my opinion, I thought as the project went on, the better the album got. Facts. So, um, one of my favorites, one of my favorites on this album was Uproar. I don't know if it was because I'm from New York and he sampled 
Swiss sample that uh, special delivery had me Harlem shaking and all that. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all know his name? Hey, yo, Mac. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we see almost had been smoking cigarettes. I didn't think the bar was going to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Zone, 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 zone. Let me see your shoulders work. I mean, I don't know what y'all came here to do, but uh, hey. hey, but yo, dope track, um, special delivery. Um, sample, and I think, I mean, at that point, once you play that song, once you have that sample in there, and you know, I think it's hard to mess it up, man. You gotta be really trash to mess up a beat like that. One of my next favorite tracks was with Travis Scott, Let It Fly. Um, you already know, Big La Flame fan, let's get it. Um, I just loved everything about it. I think I love Lil Wayne's punchlines, I like how. Travis Scott and started broke. I love how Travis Scott started off the track. I think that shit was fire and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, track was just beautiful, man. Um, Mona Lisa with Kung Fu Kenny. I love the storyline, the concept of it. It's like you said in, you said in, um, it's like Lil Wayne got this girl that got a man that's about to set him up. Um, I think that was dope. Then um, Kendrick Lamar comes in um, with a dope verse, just talking to his girl like, "You messing with Wayne? Like, what's well, good?" And I think I think that was cool. That was a fun track. I haven't really I haven't heard something like that from Wayne, and I don't think I've heard anything like that from Kendrick before. So um, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed Mona Lisa a lot. That's probably I can see that being. Uh, um, a single as well. Um, that would be a really dope single. Plus, you know Kendrick Hot right now. Yo, Open Safe. Um, Open Safe was a dope instrumental. Um, the bars were kind of mediocre on there, but that's still, I definitely see that like a turn up track. We playing that in the club, we turn it up, lit. Like that's just that type of track, you know. It's one of the best. It's one. Of, it's a good beat. I think Wayne bodied it, and um, that's all I gotta say about that one. Um, um, open letter was really like open letter was like really self reflecting on Wayne and you know what he wants for his um, you know just messages to how he feels about his children and his family. And you know how he's proud of them, what he wants them to do. Um, it's, it kind of almost felt like his dying wishes. Almost, I almost felt like you know if he was to be gone, if it was to be gone today, you know this is how he feels like. And I fucks with that. Like I, I feel that. I like music where I could feel it. Like I could feel your pain. I can, I can just. I feel like I'm inside your mind, and I feel like that's what makes good music. And I definitely think that's a dope track and you know I'm proud to say that <laughs> Little Way this 2018 he's still making great music man this is I can't front y'all know I keep a 100 on here he's making good music man next track I like is uh, Mess um, I like that it, he continues the vibe of being like vulnerable. I just like Mess because it's like the vulnerable, it's the vulnerable side of Wheezy. And he's kind of talking about um, what's going on with him. And like people probably asking him throughout this whole ordeal over the last seven years, like, you know, like why are you not happy? Or like, what's going on? When are you gonna be free? And like now it's like you free. And you know, it's a good feeling. So definitely a dope track there. Um, Demon, um, I think that's, I think this is gonna be, Demon is probably gonna be the most underrated track on Wayne's, on this Carter Five. Um, I think this is a really cool concept. And um, I think it's, I think it's just cool. like. Um, I never really heard any, I, I, I haven't heard too many artists do something like this. Um, you know, the storytelling, the flip um, on the words and, you know, you know, just like kind of just talking about like sleeping with the enemy and um, 
I think it's just a power. I think it's just a powerful song, and I recommend everybody, you know, go back and listen to the song, and you know, leave a comment down below what you think about the song, what you get out of it, and uh, we can have a discussion down in the comment section about this song. But definitely underrated song off the album. Another song that really caught me by surprise was um, Lil Wayne's uh, Famous um, with uh, Regina Carter, his daughter. Um, yo, this track really surprised me. Um, I really, I know she's dating wife and Lucci, so I don't know if that, that gave her like some special confidence to want to be on her dad's album, or maybe this is years in the making, but... Um, I had no idea she was an artist. I had no idea she can sing. When I first saw the, the track listing, I didn't think she would be singing. I thought it was, she was gonna be like, you know, maybe introing it, like talking or something. Um, but she's actually, she can actually sing. I'm not, <laughs> can't lie. You know, she can actually sing. I, in the back of my head, I was maybe think she was even gonna be talking or rapping. Thought she was gonna be a rapper or something, but. You know, the single was cool. I, I think it was a cool mother-daughter um, track and I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, do. I enjoyed it. I, I think um, it was a cool song and, you know, I think it, once again, it, he had a lot of heart and he talked, talked a, lot of, a lot about real stuff in life. So, with being famous, so. So, uh, next song that should definitely it's definitely going to be a pop hit or be a pop single and hit the charts at high is What About Me with Sosa Man. It's a nice, slow love ballad. Um, Wayne has good vocals on there, singing vocals on there. And uh, I think the production is amazing. And I can definitely hear this on the radio. Um, now, tell me if I'm wrong. I, I think I can predict these things very well now. I can tell you this is gonna be a billboard smash. Like, what about me? Billboard smash. All everybody's gonna like this. This that song is like universal. Like everybody's gonna relate to it and love it. Facts. Um, next song, dedicate. Loved it. It's like it, remind, it reminded me of like an old Lil Wayne flow and bop. I can't really pinpoint what Lil Wayne song, but it just reminds me of a previous Lil Wayne song I've heard before and. and Gave me some nostalgia. Um, dope new gospel with Nivea. Oh my God, Nivea is back. Now I love this. I like this song a lot. It, once again, it's playing with my nostalgia uh, from the '90s and 2000s. Um, it has a little bit of a sample from Marvin Sapp's uh, "Never Would Have Made It." Never would have. <coughs> know how I feel why would you say that like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation like you know I'm not happy you know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here and I know that it's not so I don't sing y'all um but I like this song a lot because it's kind of like um Wheezy Tunchi and um Nivea they've been through a lot over these last couple years Nivea's uh apparently from a recent interview she's been battling you know um having been addicted to drugs uh, Wayne as I stated multiple times been you know fighting for his money um, so this is kind of like a redemption song like I feel like that's a redemption song the, the everything about this song is just beautiful and perfect that's all I gotta say uh, used to uh, used to was calm track calm album cut I think it was cool. I like the LL Cool, LL, LL cool J reference, you know. That's what, that, LL Cool J is in my top five, you know. Drop your top five below, but LL, if LL Cool J not in it, get out of here. Um, next track, Let It All Work Out. Um, Let It All Work Out, um, once again, was kind of like, almost, almost like a redemption song also, but it's just like, it's like self-explanatory, like, it's almost like, shit, I'm glad this shit all worked out, this shit is behind me, all this shit I was going through with Birdman, I didn't want the money to come in between us, because we had this great, we had this great relationship together, and, um, I don't, I don't want to lose that, you're, like, 
um, like that's his dad. That's not his biological dad, but that's his dad and he's his son. And, you know, they love each other and they don't want the money to, he doesn't, he didn't ever wanted the money to come in between that relationship because that was so important to him. So um, I like it, positive vibes, um, didn't say nothing bad against each other. And uh, I think it's another dope album cut. I'm, I, Lil Wayne, I haven't said, I, I can't say nothing bad. You you hitting right now, man. All, only track, like I said, didn't really like was Don't Cry. And that was because of the hook. Um, shoot, then we got a special track. This one is Start This Shit Off Right. Dope track. Got a Shanti, um, got a Shanti on the vocals. Uh, Mac Man is on it too, but Shanti's on the vocals and she don't say nothing. She just harmonizes. And boy, Mama Wanda, yeah. Um, and something I didn't know it. Uh, Wayne and Rain in his in his verse, he said it's a Manny Fresh beat. That's lit. That's lit. That's a, that's big. That's big right there, man. That's big. I I like that track. Uh, next track we got hitters, Basuda. Uh, took his time. The hook was dope as fuck. Um, I I like the I like the hook. It's just talking about God took his time when he made me. He says a lot of things like God's plan, and you know a lot. He has a lot of punchlines. His punchlines are on a thousand. He got this one line where he's talking like bullets. Bullets, bullets make them make, bullets make them do the baller, make them a ballerina. Pull the trigger, let the hair spray, shoot them in the head. That's a bad hair day. He didn't say it like that. He said it a little better, but I do like that line. Hey. Um, Perfect Strangers. Uh, I'm not into the lovey dovey Wayne too much. You know, I don't think it's that much genuine I kind of see him as a savage you know like a player so um, it's a cool track you know not not my vibe but it's a cool track nonetheless can't be broken you cannot break down what can't be broken pop that's a powerful message and after becoming a boss and escaping Birdman um, I think this is once again another redemption song um, Another a song that I did not catch when I first listened to it uh, was "Dark Dark Side of the Moon." I did not catch that Nicki was on there. I didn't even I didn't even notice it. It kind of reminds me of like "I'm Not a Human" uh, when he was when Lil Wayne was still on that. Uh, I will say this song kind of seemed a little girly. It kind of seemed like it was more of a uh, um, Nicki Minaj song, like. Uh, cut off her album that she didn't use. So, cool song. Um, last but not least, problems. Problems. The beat was crazy. You already know Zaytoven. Zaytoven was on the beat, and um, I think it was crazy. I think, um, I think Wayne. I think Weezy bodied it, bodied the track. Um, his flow was on point, and I think it was a cool track. Now. Um, that, now that's the Carter Five, man. From what you can see, I, I didn't like, that's the Carter Five. Um, that's my review on all the tracks. Now, all in all, I will rate this album a, a high seven to an eight out of 10. Um, this album, I fairly enjoyed a lot. You know, I, I can see myself going back and pu pulling different tracks here and there. Uh, I do like what I got out of Wayne. I got his redemption song. I got a lot of positivity out of this album. You know, he still sounds great. He still knows how to make music. He still knows how to have, find good features. Um, I will say something I was kind of expecting, but um, I feel like now I'm okay with it, is I was kind of expecting a Drake, a Drake feature, and um, we kind of didn't get that. I know he had a Drake feature on his mixtape um, a couple months back, so maybe they didn't. Um, collab again because I know Drake's on tour so I'm not sure what happened there but um, I wasn't expecting that but all in all like I said I give this project 
a high seven to an eight out of ten. Y'all comment down below. What's y'all top five? What do y'all rate this album? What songs did y'all enjoy? And if y'all not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, check out my clothing line linked in the description down below. Drop a like. Share this video. Until the next video, Dream Squad, we out!